Well, happening today, the second annual Legacy of the Siva Afi, it's a fire knife competition honoring Freddie Latule, often referred to as the father of the fire knife dance. Now, joining me now in studio to share us more is Freddie's daughter, Mal Malia. Malia. Uh, yeah, Malia. <laughs> Malia. Okay, so Malia, tell us what is going on now. This legacy is being carried on, and I know that you are part of that. So tell us what will be happening at Sea Life Park. Well, we're honoring my father, who was, like you said, the fire, fire knife. He was the one who started, he put the fire on the Samoan fire knife, the knife. Sure. Oh, he put um, it on the... Yeah, he was the one who started it back in 1946. Wow. So he was always, he was a dancer, um, using just the knife, the Samoan knife itself. Yeah. And they never had the fire on it before, but my dad had gone to San Francisco. He'd been dancing for, for a few years in Hawaii, and he's from American Samoa, that's where we're from. And then, um, but when he went to San Francisco, he was, it was, um, Shriners Convention was going on there. And he saw this young lady wow. with batons and light bulbs on the end. And he saw a Hindu dancer with fire. And he thought, you know what, I'm gonna do something a little bit different with my knives. Cause he was good with the knives, the Samoan knives, but he wanted something different. He added that, put the towels and used kerosene. Next thing you know, wow. everybody's doing it now. And he traveled right. all over the world. He went back to Samoa to help because the governor at that time in 1962 said, please come and help promote Samoa, American right. Samoa. So he did. He taught so many children, so many young people how to do the fire knife, took tr troops to the New York World's Fair in 1964 mm -hmm. and 65, traveled the world, and he put Samoa on the map, both wow. Samoas, American and Western Samoa. So our father tonight, we are going to honor him by doing a competition among other all these other dancers who have some have competed and have become champions <laughs> like One. Yeah. I was just gonna yeah. say One <laughs> is here. Yeah. A champion. So yeah. Wow. Yeah. So tell us about that. How so, do you carry on that legacy and how do you even go about aspiring to be a fire knife dancer? Um, being raised, uh, my parents are alumni of the Polynesian Culture Center. So I not only witnessed, but got the honor to actually uh, share the stage with the, the greats, such as uh, Malo Seleni, Sielu uh, Avea, wow. So Tufanga, Achita Tafiti, Kulanga Tevanga, and Falaniko Vitali. So uh, I first started uh, competing actually in, the, in 1991, as, you know, learning the art. And um, after placing runner-up in 1991, I wanted to create a style that would honor uh, Freddie Lituli as well as the Polynesian cultures by uh, incorporating the different movements of the different weapons of the Polynesian uh, uh, cultures. So like the Tongue uh, Kailao uh, is where incorporating the, the dancing and the movements of, you know, into my routine along with the Maori Tayaha. Mm -hmm. And that's where I created the the helicopter movement. So oh, you, so you create you created your own movement. My own movements, yes. So many. Yes. yes. That's wow. the good thing about the competition. Yes. Is that all these <laughs> gentlemen and women that mm -hmm. are doing the knife dance, they're adding their own creations. They're adding their own, like One. Yes. This was the helicopter, which you will see if you come yes. tonight at Sea Life Park. <laughs> wow. I was just yeah, going to say, Mali this yeah. looks like a great competition. That it ooh, is. I mean, I, I would love to be there. <laughs> it's our second year. Yes. Last wow. year we did it too, and this year we have yeah. 30 competitors. We've got seniors, juniors, and the keiki. Okay. Um, yeah. They're amazing. Uh, at least 30. And then we also have a couple of Women that would be doing tanya yes. lifting. Oh, so so, yeah. the, so I did so it myself. You, you when, did. Uh, my dad taught me when I was thirteen, and I I loved it. And that was fifty-seven years ago. <laughs> wow. Wow. Well, so so so, do, so why? What do, would you say to other young people who are listening to you oh. about why this is so you important know, to perpetuate it's, this that's culture? That's what we're doing: perpetuating the the tradition and yes. culture of American Samoa, but for the of Samoa, both Samoas. But we want them to understand and know who started it yes. back then, and yes. the the love that we all have for mm -hmm. my father, but for the the our, for someone the someone people and the, all of Polynesia actually, yes. because it's everyone does it, not just the someone people, but no. 
so many other people. We've had people from Korea come in. And I was just going to say, I bet you people from <laughs> other people countries and yes. cultures. People, and there, it doesn't yeah. matter. Yeah, you know. because I have seen this in other countries and areas. Yes. So, so exactly. this is inspiring others to be involved, not it only is. of the Samoan culture, it but is. also yes. others. So, so if so, what is this that you're sharing right here? Yeah, this book. It's my dad wrote it with <gasps> my mom, and it's oh a of Samoa. It came out a few years ago, the year that actually my dad passed away in 2003, oh. and then we were trying to finish it. So we did the following year, and it shows everyone. Don is in here. I oh, here so many, <laughs> oh my yeah, gosh! So are, Look at this. How beautiful. Yeah. Let's just. Mm -hmm. Let's just. So, so this is something that people. This yeah. is like so amazing. Uh, Look at this. The legacies being yeah, shows shared. Oh my all gosh! The story of how it started. How, where my father, you know. Uh, wow. Did it. So and if someone wanted to get a copy, is this like available on Amazon? You know, it or? might be still. Mm -hmm. They they were uh, selling it. So. Okay. They might try Amazon. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But it, it shows all about the history of it and all the people that that performed with my father. Oh He's yeah. Been in the movies and. You know, it's wow! So what a legacy. Yeah. Thank, <laughs> Mahalo. Thank you so <laughs> much. Yes, yeah, such a blessing. Sea Light Park. What time? At, it opens at four thirty. It starts at six. Please come. Yes. Ten dollars a person. Yeah. Mahalo. <laughs>